And you know, the kids are in school, so this is a great day for us to hop over to right. Six Flags right now. I'm with you. Let's yeah, go. Absolutely. <laughs> We're talking some sunshine today. Let's break down your forecast for you. We're looking at hour by hour. Temperatures are going to be in the lower 60s uh, through around 7 to 8 o'clock. And then how about 70 by 9 a.m.? We're warming up quickly. We did see some early morning clouds, but those are already starting to thin out. Beautiful sunrise here in Birmingham. We love to show off your weather photos. How are you spending a day full of sunshine? We'll take a quick picture. Sure, prove it to me that you're enjoying it and email it to me. Report it at WIT.com. We're talking eight uh, eight, 80 degrees by 12 o'clock and look at the skies this morning. A beautiful start to the day in the Magic City. 62 is our current temperature. Here's what I'm tracking. Just a few morning clouds remain primarily in our western communities. Dry and warm through the afternoon, but the string of dry days will be coming to an end as an unsettled weather pattern returns. So by the middle of the week, a couple of spotty showers, best chance of rain though on Thursday. Temperatures this morning, lower 60s from Jasper down to T-Town. We're seeing 50s anywhere from Gadsden down towards Alexander City, and that's because of the clear sky. But across the board, it's rain-free in the deep south, including here in central and south Alabama. I foresee a few clouds in and around central Alabama today with most of, if any, rain holding to our neighboring state of Georgia. Now, StormTrack Futurecast is trying to squeeze out a couple of raindrops late this afternoon, early this evening. I don't really think that we're going to see much in rain today, but here's why I think the Futurecast is doing that. There's lots of moisture in the atmosphere, and that moisture is what's setting the stage for later this week. That's also what's going to keep clouds in the forecast through our Tuesday and into our Wednesday. So maybe every now and again, those clouds get a little heavy with some moisture, and they could sprinkle on you just a bit, but as far as widespread coverage of rain, it's very bleak today. Through Wednesday, though, between now and Wednesday, things are going to stay awfully quiet. And then Wednesday morning, we will notice that there will be more clouds in the morning sky. Afternoon, we could see a couple of those stray showers popping up. Rain chances increase for Thursday. That's why it's a good idea to have our WIT Storm Track weather app. It has this handy dandy live interactive radar. It is a fabulous tool when you are trying to figure out when the rain is going to be getting to your backyard. It has street level views, so it's a wonderful addition to our app and you need it. So download that. It's free. And then we're talking just a small chance of rain Friday and Saturday before those rain chances pick up again on Sunday. Could be interesting to see how things uh, shape up for your race weekend in Talladega. That's a look at your storm track seven day forecast.